Hi everyone! So today we're playing Life is Strange, the normal edition, so not the remaster. Uh, because I heard there are some issues with the subtitles and I just want everything to be smooth. So yeah, I'm really excited for this. I've been wanting to play this for a really long time. So let's go. I hope the audio is okay. Life is Strange is a story-based game that features player choice. The consequences of all your in-game actions and decisions will impact the past, present and future. Choose wisely. Okay. Where am I? What's happening? I'm trapped in the storm? How did I get here? Sam? And where is here? I think... Is the audio still... Wait. Too high? There's the lighthouse. I'll be safe if I can make it there. Oh, Not sure. Please let me make it there. Maybe like this. Can I go here? It's interesting. Whoa. Is this a tornado or a hurricane? Arcadia Bay? Can this size of a tornado or hurricane even be possible in real life? Holy shit. Damn. was so surreal. He famously calls film little pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay, I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in... I... Sorry, was that girl just, like, bullied with a paper? Um... What the hell? In class and the teacher didn't say anything about it? That would not fly in, in my country. Didn't fall asleep and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. <gasps> there you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. <clears throat> shh, 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 shh. Keep Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Why? Wow, I think it's a cool shot. I like the... Um, I assume these are all her memories plastered on the wall and then she's standing here. That's really cool. Step it yourself. Seriously though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner. I haven't kept up with my journal as much as I should. And any one of you could do that to me. I can't believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. But I like it old school. Chose to capture people at the height I do love my analog camera. I should take a quick picture now. You're in class? She could have taken another approach. Sure. I have to admit, I'm not a big fan of her work. I prefer Robert Frank. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. 
I do. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Mm. Damn. I did know. I did know, but I kind of <laughs> forgot. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process to give portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him in your textbook or even online. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, so don't hide. Five, I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Okay. Well. Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. That's Victoria. Uh, the way she's sitting is very... Inappropriate for a school setting, I would say. Of course, Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most expensive. I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. GRLT 64S. With all the speed and power expected from a new green lid, the GRLT is packed with expanded features and manageability. It shoots what you want, where you want, straight out of the camera. JPEG images already have superb quality including a new level of depth, sharpness, and malleability. $5,000 for a camera? Well... I want to represent Blackwell Academy. Even her school books are gift-wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? <laughs> and people laughed. Oh well, you'll get over it. Process, but huh, this might make a cool <laughs> shot. The photographic world is not for everybody. I had my moment in the camera eye, and everybody oh, thought that totally. was totally. I only right? want to share whatever gifts I have with the world. You have a journal. Oh, here's the photo with Rachel Ember forever. Okay. Kate looks so sad and quiet today. Poor thing. Yeah, I mean, she was, um, she was harassed. Literally in class in front of the teacher, and he didn't say anything. Hi, Kate. Oh, hi, Max. You seem quiet today. Just thinking too much. Was it Victoria that threw the paper thing at her? I think Victoria has already won the contest, as usual. She's got nothing on you, Max. Well, I should get going. Yeah, me too. Talk to you later. Sure. Then. Now I wish I wouldn't have read this. Purge. Yeah, Kate, we love your porn video. XOXO Blackwell Academy. What? She has a porn video? What the hell? Is she? I'm not sure what class these uh, students are in, is it? Are they even 18 at this point? That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took the class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. Hmm. Okay, we've seen these. 
I love seeing Mr. Jefferson's awesome photos on these magazine covers. Hope Vine is Grunge Dead, featuring the latest works from Mark Jefferson, 10 reasons to get electronic mail. Is Mark Jefferson the teacher? Yeah, he is Mr. Jefferson. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Mm. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Hmm. I mean, I didn't have any time. We already have a picture, don't we? Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer <laughs> than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. Okay. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. Nice. You can never escape the lighthouse here. Was that the place? Yeah, we were at the lighthouse. Whoa, Mr. Jefferson is not messing around with that monster. He probably paid 20 grand for that camera. I bet he gets pristine digital images. But I still dig my little instant camera. Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Can't wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad boy. Here's the poster for the contest. Mr. Jefferson really expects me to enter. Why? I don't know if I'm ready for my 15 minutes of infamy. Are you an everyday hero? Find out. Enter to win everyday heroes photo contest. Submit an image that best represents yourself or others in heroic action. Deadline, October 9, 2013. The winner will fly to San Francisco and represent their school in the National Everyday Heroes competition at the Ziggis Gallery on October 11, 2013. You may submit one image on a proof of paper for consideration. For those 18 and under, a parent permission form must be included with the image. Okay. So she doesn't want to enter this. I wonder why. Didn't she might win. Me how cute I, look yet. I was about to. You Welcome to the real world. Cute. Hot. Then I might send you a special Christmas exciting video you have to pass so What's the point of even having a class if you have to see your black credit, credit card this time? Why do you play this so strong? I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. There's no uh, music, unfortunately. So fucking shy. I'm sure it's gonna get copyrighted if um, I let it. There is, I think it's really, um, it's, uh, I lowered the volume a lot for the music, so I'm not sure if you'll be able to hear it. I can hear it. I think you can hear it too. I hope I don't get copyright for this. <laughs> um, I think that's Courtney. She's such a slave to Taylor and Victoria. Victoria was the one in the class, right? There's Taylor, always waiting for Victoria. Yeah. Evan doesn't say much to me, but his photos are very cool. Alyssa is always texting, but she doesn't hang out with a lot of people. Same. I don't even text a lot of people. I hate having everybody see inside my locker. I love that picture of mom and dad. Hello, Jack. Kiss, kiss. Andy, you look totally fabulous, as usual. Poor Jack and Andy, though. That's Dana talking to... I think his name is Justin. 
Dana is on my floor, too. She's such an archetypal, gorgeous cheerleader. They must make them in a factory. I shouldn't be so catty. Dana is nice to me. I've seen Brooke hanging out with Warren. She seems like his type. She seems cool. I hate bully jockstraps like Logan. And he's a Vortex Club member. Poor Daniel, he's so nice. I wish I could beat the shit out of Logan. Bullies suck, don't bully. It looks like she's been gone for months. Missing from Arcadia Bay. Date missing. On the day. That was my cat. <laughs> missing uh, Arcadia Bay. Date missing Monday, April 22nd, 2013. Age 19 years old. Height 5'5. Five five, 110 uh, LBS. Blonde hazel eyes, tattoo on calf of a dragon, and a star on the inside of her left wrist. Name is Rachel Amber, age 19. Hmm. Okay, this audio is not helping. Okay, lower that. There's Juliet from my dorm, yet another Vortex Club disciple. Figures Juliet would be dating Zachary, jocks sucked up in the Vortex Club. He's cute. I like skater boys. Too bad they don't like me. He's a skater boy. Miss Grant is a great science teacher. So we want to go to the bathroom? Women's bathroom. Empty. Good. Nobody can see my meltdown. Except for me. <gasps> Why meltdown? I feel like the universe is taunting me everywhere I go today. It all started with that bizarro dream in class. Am I going crazy? <gasps> Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. When a door closes, a window opens. Or <laughs> I like hate that. Victoria Chase. <laughs> okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. Damn, this is a nice butterfly. I have a butterfly earring today, actually. I don't know if you can see it. That's nice. Hey, that's a nice photo. Wait, isn't this the women's bathroom? It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You're, you're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who Whoa. you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? 
What are you doing? Come on, put that thing Don't down! ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs! Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Damn, he really shot her. Whoa. What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. She likely was. These pieces of time can frame us in a I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From colors to Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Oh, now, shit. Can you give me an example of a Damn, photographer? I cannot who believe this. Captured the human condition in black and white. Okay, if I'm crazy, Anybody? I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Can I actually reverse time? There you go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by. I'm sorry to rewind. Give me a sec. I should My rewind. Cat. My cat just joined us. My little silly cat. Destroying everything in his way. Okay, let's rewind. Right mouse button. I did it. Can you give I actually did it. Photographer who perfectly captured I'm a human the human time machine. Hello. Anybody? Bueller? Max, don't yeah, freak yeah. out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Wowzer, my old bro. Keep it together, Max. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers. When I took my selfie, Jefferson you asked me a question. Tortured, right? If he does again, I'll know this is for real. Okay. Keep it yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie, a dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming this. As you all know, the it's real. Has been I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl isn't dead yet? The point Can I save her? Portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Hmm, I feel sick. I'm sorry, I feel sick. May I be excused? Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easily. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their story? Jefferson wants to keep me I after class. And I need time to save that girl. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. <laughs> what if I rewind again and give him the right answer? Detail in people's faces, right, that means you learn the useful spot that you may be onwards. able to use if the you rewind. So hold right mouse to There's rewind. There's only one way around this. Hold shift to rewind faster. Whoa. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest in... Okay, into the Daguerrean process. The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. The Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely She's mad. popular, <laughs> mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. Okay.
Two seconds. Okay. I still kind of feel like the the voices are a bit too loud, so I'll adjust it just a little bit. So, can we talk to Kate? Nice answer, Max. Are you okay? You look pale. Kate, um, did we talk at all today? This is the first time. What's wrong? I'm sorry, I'm just dripping. Too much stress. I know the feeling. Um, I wish we didn't. I wish we didn't. I do have to go, but we can talk later if you want. I'll see how I feel. Thanks, Max. I don't want anybody to feel excluded from this process, but I also want everybody to know. What are you waiting for? Go. Okay, okay, Not okay. I had my moment Sorry. In the and I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your interest. Damn. You can't even go, girl. I'd never let one of photography's. Okay, um, I'm not avoiding. Although I'm not I am. Really just biding time, waiting for the elusive right moment. Exactly. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. Press Ctrl to quickly undo your previous action using the rewind. Oh, speak again? Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let... And now we tell him the quote that he told us. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once <laughs> said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers, good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. Hmm. I wish it was this easy to impress teachers in real life. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. Hold I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. Okay. I hate that science class with those nerds. What's that got to do with anything? Okay, Max, retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Don't Come on, put that thing down. Tell me what to do. Mm, Brother, it's it's happening happening again. The people trying to control me. I need a hammer to break it open. Trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even. No, he has a gun. I should do something else. I know. Oh shit! This oh, is shit. Her. I can't let this happen. If I can oh, reverse time that's... again, I can help her. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would. Ever even miss your punk ass, would they? No way. I did Don't ever touch me again, freak. Another shitty day. Michael, that indeed. did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? And Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. I like the way his face is painted like 
it looks 3D, but it looks painted at the same time. Her face too. It looks amazing. Should we talk to this guy, Principal Wells? Is he the principal? Or should we just leave? Let's just leave. Hold on, Max. Come back here. Oh, never mind. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. The sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You could always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. Hmm. This is like a major choice, isn't it? What should we do? I mean, why would you hide the truth? He, first of all, he entered the women's bathroom when he's a man, and then he had a gun, and he would have used it if I didn't rewind the time. So obviously, like, the principal should know about this, right? I'm reporting him. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott? You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know. I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family and one of Could Dr. Matter? most honored students. So it's hard Man. for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. So what happened next? Then, then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you going to bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Should I rewind and change my story? Well, I mean, hmm. I don't know. Should we? Ah, I'll just stick to it. I think that's what's right, right? My mic keeps falling. Oh, he's getting batted. So maybe he's actually doing something about it. The principal is actually taking action based on what we said. Damn. Oh my god, how many missing posters do you need? I think that's, this is plenty, isn't it? Okay, so I think the game automatically saved because we left that area. So I think I'll leave this here. Uh, shorter video, but I'll be back soon with more. I really want to finish this game because I really like it. I think it's uh, great. It has great storytelling and art and yeah, I like it a lot. So anyway, that was it for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like, comment if you feel like it. And I hope you had fun. I did. Bye.